How's it going guys? My name is Bonnie Kiwi and welcome back to another Skyblock Roblox video. That gets trickier to say every time. Now, this video is going to be about onions. Yes, this little fella. That's a huge onion. That is a mass. It's got a... What's that? Gray th it's got a grey thing on it. I've got... Oh, it's my finger. <laughs> it's a huge onion. Do you like onions? I like onions. I don't know about eating them like that though. Like raw. There's a... Yeah, I don't know about that. I do like onions though. So this video is gonna I'm gonna teach you how to build the best. Look at it over there. Look at it over there. Oh, it's so good. So I've only been playing Roblox Skyblock for about a week and a half. I'm starting to learn all the things about it. The good things, the bad things, what to do, what not to do. It's like a little floating onion. So one thing I have learned is how to build the absolute best, in my opinion. Onion farm or eight of carrot farm. It could be anything. I've only done onions because onions are of course the most expensive crop right now. I say right now because I'm not sure if that will change over time to try and change it up a little bit. If, if you imagine the devs make onions the cheapest and everyone's built onion farms and all of a sudden tomatoes are the most expensive. That would actually be kind of funny. So I'm going to show you how to build this amazing onion farm. I'm going to show you how much it makes, how long it takes to fill all of these chests. But first, before we dive into that, I just want to say, subscribe man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bonnie Kiwi. You're watching it right now. I would really appreciate it. Over 80% of people who watch this channel are not subscribed and that is just sad. Look at my, look at my sad eyes. Look how sad they are. But also, I plan to do so much more Skyblock Roblox uh, content, so I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I've got lots of great ideas that involve a community. Look, there's other farms over there. I'm going to talk about them in a second. So just be sure to subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications. Why not? We'll do all of it, and you'll get the best Roblox Skyblock content. Maybe, maybe coming your way soon. Okay, so let's dive in to first of all. The crops, all right? Let me just show you the crops, because I don't know how new you are to Roblox Skyblock. You might be just an absolute baby. Just been born into the Skyblock Roblox world. Can I just say Skyblock? I'm just gonna say Skyblock now. I'm just born into the Skyblock world, world and not knowing what's going on. So let's have a look at crops. Selling crops. Wheat is worth five. Carrots are worth 25. Potatoes are worth 10. Tomatoes worth eight. Berries worth 25. Onions worth 30. And grapes worth 22. So the only crops worth Farming and selling are carrots, berries, onions, and grapes. Tomatoes, potatoes, and wheat, all super cheap. Not really worth going for those. These four here, however, carrots, berries, both 25, grapes, 22, onions, 30 at the best. That's what everyone goes for the onions. So, I just wanted to show you that real quick, just in case you're brand new and you don't really know why everyone's talking about onions, why everyone's obsessed with onions in this game. So, and before we go into the big awesome if i just say so myself onion factory i just want to quickly take you through some really bad 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 factory or onion farm designs that i did first before i learned how to do it more efficiently so you can see what not to do okay so you can see over here <laughs> these are really bad farms we're going to get to the good one i just want to show you the bad ones first these are bad farms do not copy these these will not make you they'll make you some money they won't make you a lot of money Okay, so the carrot one, obviously a really bad design. Um, the, the chest will fill up, but it's only one chest there. Uh, and it flows down from this level. The totems pick up the carrots, drop them in the conveyor belts, down this little chute, uh, and into this chest. But look at all these carrots laying here, just not being harvested. These are all, these are all ready to be picked up by the totems, but they're not being picked up because it's such a bad, where are those carrot seeds? Because it's such a bad design, all right? And I'm, trust me, I'm moving all these bad farms to the new, improved farm design I've got over there. Everything's going to eventually be like that, so I'll be earning millions every minute. Uh, the tomato one here, again, look at all the tomatoes that are lying here. So many unharvested. They're even rolling off the conveyor belt. There's one right there. Such a bad farm. But this is when I was just brand new to the game. Literally, I had no idea what I was doing. you got to try these things out. you got to experiment before you know what's more efficient. Uh, so there's a tomato one, it's three different levels again, just all of them just laying there. If a crop is laying there not being harvested, it's wasted money, Your time is money. And here's a potato one as well, and the potato one isn't quite as bad as the other two. It's got a nice like, little step structure, it goes down little glass windows down the chute. Like, you see them coming down right now, look at the potatoes coming, it's not bad. We don't lose many potatoes until, unless the chest is full, then some spill out. But this is actually, I quite like how this one looks, it's aesthetically pleasing, it looks nice. But yeah, definitely not the most efficient. So uh, let's just head over to, let me just collect this stuff first. You know, you've always got to be collecting your things. 
Uh, and look at all this brick. I need more efficient weapons for these. I've been I've been onion crazy, just concentrating on onions all the time, which is why everything else is a complete mess. That's why my house isn't even finished. The house comes last, all right? You can be homeless and rich, just <laughs> the house doesn't matter. So this is the onion farm, okay? I'm gonna take you through it. Occasionally, I'll lose one or two onions. Look, I lose very little onions in this. It's super efficient, okay? So let me just take you through it. It's got multiple levels to it, right? Which uh, this the design has right now, I can keep expanding it. Of course, onion totems are very expensive. Onion seeds are very expensive. It costs 2,000 coins for one freaking onion seed. They're so expensive. The onion totems themselves are 8,000. So, I mean, I've got a lot here, a lot going on, but I'm currently expanding it. You'll see here, this is the top layer that I'm currently working on. I need two more totems for this layer. Uh, I've got the max seeds here, so we're good. And I'm I'm currently expanding it. This can go as high as I possibly want. I don't even know if there's like a sky limit, but I'm gonna take it as high as I can possibly go. It can also go as wide as I want it to, so I can add more chests down here for more bulk storage. Now, I've seen, the reason I think this is the most efficient onion farm it generates the most money quickest it's because most onion farms i've seen they're like the most popular design i've seen okay i haven't honestly looked up any designs i've seen some people invited me to the islands i was asking questions in chat when i was new how to build the best onion farms some people invited them, me to their islands and showed me their farms and the ones i've seen that people had were like upside down kind of pyramids so they came down here and up there and they were awesome don't don't get me wrong they were awesome but they only had one chest at the bottom most of them, almost all of them had one chest. And that, I, get, I mean, a lot of onions were fallen, yeah, a lot of onions were fallen, but at the same time, like, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be losing, I don't wanna be coming back here every, every 10 seconds to empty that chest or I just lose all of the onions that are in it, you know? At least with the method I have here, with all these chests, and I can keep expanding it, I can add, I've got nine here right now to match up the nine totem system. I can add 15 chests this way, build up with 15 totems wide and it will just keep raining onions so the, the, the higher I build it and the wider I build it the more onions will rain down quicker I mean they're already rain. look how much rain down already I don't I barely lose any occasionally I built this glass block system at the side because occasionally one will get stuck here or occasionally one will bounce out here when they're all falling really fast but honestly I don't lose very many now I emptied this about five minutes ago no not even that long honestly about yeah, maybe about five minutes ago, all right? And let's see how much we've got in here already. So we've got this chest almost full, this chest almost full, all of the chest, this one is full. All of the chests are all just filling up so fast. And I can just come here, look at all these onions I've just completely taken out here. It's honestly, this, I, it took me a while to get to this design, but I honestly genuinely think it is the best design that I ever could think of. <laughs> Look at that one bouncing along and it still makes its way into the chest. That's what makes this design so efficient because they always find their way into the chest. Always. I say 99% of the time they find their way into the chest and it's truly expandable. It's locked in all the way. It's see-through. You can see all the way through it. It just looks really nice. If I do say so myself, you feel free to disagree. If you know what a better design is, you can tell me. But anyway, I want to describe how to build it. So, of course, you're going to need um, a lot of chests. Um, as many, you can start off much smaller than I have. Start off with three or four totems even. Even two, if that's all you can afford to build upwards, okay? So you want the chest here, along the ground here, and placing chests or conveyor belts in this game is so frustrating because you can't rotate items. So you've literally got to face the item, you've got to face away from it like this, and try and back your way in to, to place an item to f come outwards. It's really tricky, but honestly, you'll get there. So place conveyor belts side by side all the way along. Obviously industrial chests all the way along to go into that. And then I just built grass blocks up, a big solid grass block, there's a secret compartment behind here. I'm saving that for a very special video soon, hopefully as to why there's a secret compartment there, but if you're watching this and you want to walk away, if you want to come to my island and fill up with tons of onions to sell by yourself, then uh, subscribe, turn notifications on, and keep an eye on my videos to see what's gonna happen in there. Um, so I built up all the blocks here, right? I built up, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four. You could've went three, I don't know why I went four. It's because I wanted a big clear, I wanted a big clear background here so we could see them all dropping in. And as this gets higher and wider, that's gonna look even more spectacular. It's gonna be filled with so many onions. It's gonna be a big waterfall of onions. Uh, so basically, the design of the totems and the seeds, I'll, you can see it all the way up. It's, it's identical all the way up, but I'll go to the top one so I can explain it. 
uh, better because I can actually get inside on top of the top one. So you want to place conveyor belt all the way to the edge, okay? Conveyor belt to the edge, so obviously the onions can just drop off. You want to make sure you have glass blocks to stop the onions from drop. If you don't have those glass blocks, the onions will fall too far and too fast. They'll land on the chest and they will bounce for miles. You can see one little onions escape down here. There must have been too many falling at once. I'm still trying to improve it, but honestly, the way it is right now, I look, look at them all falling down. I honestly don't lose many. Um, so let me just go back up here so I can finish explaining what I was talking about. I just don't want to let that onion despawn. That's the thing as well. When people had the only one chest at the bottom, the chest can only be filled with 40 onions. An industrial chest can only hold 40 items. So when that chest is filled, they lose all of those spare onions, they, they despawn. I can currently hold over 300 onions in my chest right now. So trust me, this is a way more efficient, me efficient method, especially if you want to have true AFK, which of course is where you save the most time and make the most money. So place your totems right next to the conveyor belts. They have to be next to the conveyor belts in order for the totem to place it on the conveyor belt. That's what happens. That's If, I, if a totem is placed near a conveyor belt, it will automatically deposit what it has inside it. Uh, every so often, it will deposit that onto the conveyor belt. Now, what you want to do for placing the seeds, three blocks behind, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way along for all the totems you have, because the totem can only pick up three blocks. It can pick up three blocks to the side, three blocks in front, two blo three blocks to the other side, three blocks all around. But the most efficient method for stacking up is just having three behind it, is what I found. Again, if you know, and I'm not saying my method is the absolute only best method that you can choose, but I have found um, it is the best method for me for farming the most and for losing the least. Now you can see how this onion's kind of stuck between the conveyor belts. That happens occasionally, but most often than not, another onion will come down and knock that into the chest. Because I'm here, I'll just pick it up. But trust me, if another onion comes down that, that chute, it will bang into it and it'll knock into the chest. So again, I've tested that, it's not a big deal. Now what I'm gonna do now, before before like I finish this video, is I'm actually gonna show you this full onion factory in full effect. Now I'm gonna leave my camera pointing right here. Obviously I'm gonna speed it up because I don't want you to be watching all this, it'll just be very boring. But I'm gonna speed it up, we're gonna fill up all these chests. We're gonna see how long it takes. Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna empty the chest first, okay? So you can see exactly how long it takes to fill this up and just how much money gets made from this onion factory. Again, it's always expanding, always getting bigger, always generating more money. Okay, that's it emptied. So I'm gonna air, I'm gonna face my camera here. I'm gonna time lapse this for you. But yeah, enjoy all the onions falling and we'll count it up at the end to see just how much we made. gone for 14 minutes and I can already see that the chests are completely full and we lost one onion up the side there of course it, if any other ones were lost it'd be despawned but look the chests are all full and they were probably full before this maybe like before 10 minutes but I need to collect these ones because uh, they will start despawning which is why it, this is really efficient and important to have all these chests because like I said before you would lose so many onions uh, to them despawning because they can't get in the chest, but let's just empty these chests out completely full Well, that one has some empty slots in it. I guess not a lot had not enough had bounced onto that. This one's completely full uh, Onto this one. That one's got some empty slots as well. This one's completely full. I can see it. It's not letting any more in there completely full uh, This one had a couple slots at the end and this one's completely full as well and they're still raining down of course and they'll just start filling back up again so truly afk automated onion factory farm you've seen it right there let's go and cash these i've got 1053 onions <gasps> my days let's cash this in and see how much we're gonna get all right let's uh let's see where i am right now okay i have 158 coins right now let's see us jump straight to the top of the leaderboard all right i'm gonna sell the wheat i have none of that it's not worth it carrots only have 1700 
Potatoes, I only have 788. Tomatoes, 600 coins. Berries, 1300 coins. Grapes, 792 coins. And onions, how much onions we get for all that? 31,590 coins. It will be enough, just enough to put us into first place on that leaderboard there. But 31,000 worth of coins, worth of, yeah, 30, 30, 31,000 coins from all those onions. Which I'm just so, so excited, that's just so many. And honestly, AFK onion farms, you could have multiple of them. You could have, just keep extending the one I have, make it wider, make it taller, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and keep it uh, extend. I'm gonna try and make it to the point where I'm getting like, literally a constant waterfall of onions falling down there i wanted to look like that i wanted to be like a big water feature it'd be so cool i'm just finishing up collecting all this stuff here but we're done with this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a massive thumbs up please subscribe if you're brand new turn those notifications on and i'll hopefully see you in the next one be sure to leave a comment below as well I'd love to hear from you guys okay thanks bye bye <laughs>